Hello guys, my name is Amit Sani and I welcome you on this daily OPSC MCQ series in the evening. These MCQ lessons come in the morning, the Hindu and Lanza videos they come. Both the lessons you need to follow there and we are uh, referring here all important sources like PIB, the Hindu newspaper, Indian Express, Indian Express newspaper, Live Mint, EPW magazine. So these uh, explanations of these questions, uh, they are very important. The compil compilation is the, there with you in the PDF form on the Facebook group and the Telegram channel. You are getting these uh, uh, PDFs daily and Pocket News app is trending on Google Play. You can download that. Regarding these courses, the description is, the description is given below the video. You will find that. You can call on these numbers and the chat section is given there on the website. So uh, here you will get the PDF Telegram channel. You will also find there. The link is there. On Instagram also you can follow, uh, follow me. First question. First paperless legislative assembly of the country. Where it was inaugurated recently. You see. Prime Minister Modi ji went to Jharkhand uh, uh, day before yesterday and he announced many many issues there and it was one of among them uh, uh, and uh, costed 465 crore rupees this new assembly building is uh, uh, built now and it is the first paperless legislative assembly of the country so in Ranchi he inaugurated, inaugurated that and D Jharkhand is the right answer here you can see he announced many many uh, important schemes like the pension schemes of Lagu Vapari Mandhan Yojana, Pradhan Mantri Kisan Mandhan Yojana and uh, uh, at Kutegram this uh, Jharkhand assembly uh, was inaugurated and it is the first paperless assembly in the country there and many more announcements were there. Next question is regarding the another announcement from Jharkhand only. India's only multi-model cargo terminal is located on River Hooghly. First of all this is not on River Hooghly it is on River Ganga and uh, three are proposed and two are operationalized now second multimodal cargo terminal was uh, inaugurated on, on uh, uh, in sahib ganj that is there in northeast part of jharkhand okay let me uh, show you the location there this is the jharkhand's uh, border and uh, you can see the north is Bihar it is Jharkhand and here it is Sahib Ganj and the Ganga River is taking a turn here and here uh, uh, this uh, important cargo terminal is inaugurated by Prime Minister Modi with a remote control method uh, from Ranchi so he uh, was there in Ranchi and uh, he uh, uh, made all these announcements there so it is the second one first one was there in on uh, in Varanasi on river Ganga only okay and this has been built by Indian and Inland Waterway Authority of India that's perfect IWAI but IWAI doesn't come under Ministry of Jal Shakti. It works under Ministry of Shipping. So that you must remember, remember an Inland Waterway Authority of India that has built that. And you see it is the National Waterway 1 from uh, Allahabad to Haldia. This is National Waterway 1. So, so here we are expecting a lot and uh, uh, it's a very cheap method. It's a very, very progressive move. And these cargo terminals are totally based on modern facilities and all and many many additional facilities will be present there so dean and is the answer both the statements are wrong okay it is the ganga river here hugli river uh, is actually a distributary of ganga and it's it gets separated from ganga at faraka barrage and it uh, comes towards the kolkata city here okay next these are the details in 2018 the first uh, terminal was uh, inaugurated in varanasi Next, Central Council for Research in Unani Medicine. You see these important councils regarding homeopathy, Unani, Siddha and all. Uh, uh, they are established. Uh, they are now under Ministry of Ayush. But you see, Ministry of Ayush was not there when they got established in 1979. Central Council for Research in Unani Medicine. And the year was 1979 where Ministry of Health established them as an autonomous organizations but today they are working under ministry of ayush so that's why this is a wrong statement you must uh, note all these things and yunani medical center at the new opd building in Savdajang hospital in delhi you see in the capital city this important center they have inaugurated so second statement is correct first is wrong because it is under ministry of ayush now and but it was established by ministry of health at that time so only two is the right answer here okay and uh, next question union cabinet had given its note to set up indian institute of skills iiss mr modi ji uh, had this vision when he visited singapore there and uh, uh, there was an important institution for skilling the youth there now according to that plan they are uh, gonna establish uh, uh, 
these Indian institutes of skills in three cities like Mumbai where the first one is inaugurated recently second Kanpur and Ahmedabad three important cities so it is not going to be in all the metro cities this is a wrong statement and that's also not correct because they are saying that after 10th or 12th class means after the school education if they want to join these important courses and technical education then uh, this will be very much important for for the skilling sector of this country and 70 percent guarantee will be there for the employment of these uh, trainees 5000 trainees will get training every year here so this is also a wrong statement because it is not after graduation it is after school education so dean and is the answer both the statements are wrong here next question Eurasian Economic Union. You see, recently we skipped an important meeting of Eurasian Economic Union, which was organized by SCO, Shanghai Cooperation Organization. You see, for SCO, it was established in 2001, but we was we were a associated member of it, and in 2017, India and Pakistan, they became full full fledged members of SCO. So that was important, and Russia uh, uh, helped here a lot. And this Eurasian Economic Union is an initiative of Russia. It's a regional. Uh, uh, union is it's a custom union also it's an important forum also and this union now belt and road initiative of china that is also a regional plan it's a huge plan but we have not joined that because the cpec issue this uh, uh, economic corridor that is going through the park occupied kashmir so that is our area officially so that's why we have objected a lot and that's why we have not joined any of the meeting and we have not joined this important group so Eurasian Economic Union is by Russia and BRI is by China but we have skipped this meeting of EEU there and uh, you must uh, uh, recognize here that which which are the countries and which are not Russia is the country which is a uh, important uh, uh, initiator here Armenia is a member Belarus is a member and uh, Kyrgyzstan is a member Kazakhstan is a member but China and Uzbekistan they are not the members here okay but these two are the members in uh, SCO Okay, so the, here the answer would be B, 2 and 3. They both are not the members. Okay, you can see uh, it was uh, uh, enforced on January 2015. And here these are the member states. It's an economic union. And Moscow uh, is the largest city and the administrative centers are there in Moscow and Minsk, which is the capital of Belarus. So these are important. And SCO Eurasian Economic Forum. It was organized by SCO in China. There we did not attend it. Okay, that's an important thing. And regarding the uh, issue and the SCO, the details are given here. You can go through all these details and text in the PDF here. Okay, next total tribal population in this region is more than 97%. You need to recognize this region. 97% is the tri tribal population. It's, it, these are uh, very less areas where this much population is there of tribals. Balti, Veda, Bot, Drogpa, Drogpa, Dard, Sin, Changpa, Mon, Gera, these are the tribes in this area. So, uh, similar options because uh, uh, many tribes uh, among these uh, you will find in Sikkim also and Arunachal Pradesh also, but all of them are found in Ladakh region. So, it's a region, it's not a state, it's not a uh, union territory yet. It's a region now, and uh, C is the answer here. Recently, uh, National Commission for Scheduled Tribe that has written to Ministry of Tribal Affairs that uh, Take Ladakh into sixth schedule. Sixth schedule, four states are there: Assam, Tripura, Meghalaya, Mizoram. AMTM. Okay, these four states are there, and autonomous uh, councils are also present there. So, 125th amendment bill is also regarding that, but that is not uh, uh, still passed, and uh, they were proposing to take Ladakh into this sixth schedule. So. In fifth schedule, there are scheduled areas in this country, and in the sixth schedule, these four states are taken. So Ladakh, they want to take as the fifth entity there. Okay, so that's very very important, and they may ask you about these tribal groups or uh, any detail regarding Ladakh because a lot of things are happening uh, uh, with respect to Ladakh. The recent JNK reorganization uh, act was there, and uh, it is going to be a union territory now. So that's very very important. Regarding six schedule, the details are given here, and these are the key provisions of it. And governor has a lot of power there. Governor has a lot of discretionary powers with respect to six schedule and the fifth schedule. So that's why the governor's role is gonna be very, very important uh, with this uh, topic. So you must go through all the de details in the polity book.
okay and the 125th amendment bill which talks about the reservation for women in these uh, 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 autonomous councils and the municipal councils there under the six scheduled states next government e marketplace it's a e marketplace means it's a online platform it is created by the government of india but it is not the msme ministry it is the ministry of commerce okay and they have created this platform to help the small uh, businessmen there and especially the women entrepreneur who are uh, uh, producing some uh, small items like which are important for uh, uh, everyday official work so this procurement will be done by, by the government on this platform and in some departments uh, in some uh, ministries the msme entrepreneurs mandatorily their products will be procured by the government and that that particular department so it is to help these small business people and uh, the second statement is correct first is wrong because it is not by ministry of uh, small and medium enterprises it is by ministry of uh, commerce there okay recently punjab state has signed an mou with the gem and uh, they are gonna help these uh, uh, these uh, small entrepreneurs there so answer would be only two first is a wrong statement you can see women entrepreneurs uh, they are taken as a priority in this okay next uh, and the second statement is also wrong actually i think uh, i made a mistake here because uh, it's a wrong statement because it is it, say, it is saying offline procurement it is online procurement so the answer would be d i'm very sorry here i made a mistake here uh, it is offline it is actually online procurement so the answer would be d okay next pangong so lake pangong so lake is a landlocked lake that's for sure it is there in jammu and kashmir and the 60% uh, area of it it is extending into tibet area the autonomous region of china and uh, it is not a ramsar site yet it is actually undergoing that process but still it is not the ramsar site after this declaration it will be the first trans boundary lake which is taken as a ramsar site so the second statement is wrong and first is correct only one is the right answer here okay you can see uh, the important uh, details here and the map is here it is pangok so lake it is somori lake and it's a uh, uh, brackish water lake extending into tibet and uh, le city ladakh uh, and in this uh, uh, kargil uh, uh, town there and uh, ladakh range is there jaskar range is there between the ladakh and jaskar the indus is flowing and the le city is located so that's very important it's a very scenic area so this is all for today we will meet again tomorrow thanks a lot keep watching it was amit sen okay you will get the pdf